Welcome to the DZ Report. Don't you know I love haters? Now, NASA is tracking a huge growing anomaly in Earth's magnetic field. NASA is actively monitoring a strange anomaly in Earth's magnetic field, a giant region of lower magnetic intensity. Let me show you guys how. That's how it looks right there. That's what they're tracking. And if you notice, you know, in the skies above the planet, stretching out between South America and Southwest Africa, you see that. Now, they're talking Africa is splitting apart and a new ocean is on forming. Now, this vast developing phenomenon called the South Atlantic Anomaly has intrigued and concerned scientists for years and perhaps none more so than NASA researchers. The space agency satellites and spacecraft are particularly vulnerable to the weakened magnetic field strength within the anomaly and the resulting exposure to the charged particles from the sun. The South Atlantic Anomaly, or the SAA, likened by NASA to a dent in Earth's magnetic field or a kind of pothole in space, generally doesn't affect life on Earth but the same can't be said for orbitable spacecraft, including the International Space Station, which pass directly through the anomaly as they loop around the planet at low Earth orbit altitudes. During these encounters, the reduced magnetic field strength inside the anomaly means technological systems on board satellites can short circuit and malfunction if they become struck by high energy protons emanating from the sun. These random hits may usually only produce low level glitches, but they do carry the risk of causing significant data loss or even permanent damage to key components. Threats obliging satellite operators to routinely shut down spacecraft systems before spacecraft enter the anomaly zone. I mean, for spacecraft enters the anomaly zone, mitigating those hazards in space is one reason NASA is tracking the SAA. Another is that the mystery of the anomaly represents a great opportunity to investigate a complex and difficult to understand phenomenon. And NASA's broad resources and research groups are uniquely well appointed to study the occurrence. The magnetic field is actually a superposition of fields from many current sources. Geophysicist Terry Sabaka from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, explained in 2020. The primary source is considered to be a swirling ocean of molten iron inside Earth's outer core. Thousands of kilometers below the ground, the movement of that mass generates electrical currents that create Earth's magnetic field, but not necessarily uniformly, it seems. A huge reservoir of dense rock called the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province, located about 2,900 kilometers, which is, 1, 000, uh, which is 1,800 miles below the African continent, disturbs the field's generation resulting in the dramatic weakening effect, which is aided by the tilt of the planet's magnetic axis. The observed SAA can be also interpreted, interpreted as a consequence of weakening dominance of the dipole field in the region, said NASA Goddard geophysicist and mathematician Weijia Kong in 2020. More specifically, a localized field with reverse polar polarity grows strongly in the SAA region, thus making the field intensity very weak, weaker than that of the surrounding regions. While there's much scientists still don't fully understand about the anomaly and its implications, new insights are continually shedding light on this strange phenomenon. For example, one study led by NASA heliophysicist Ashley Greeley in 2016 
revealed the SAA is drifting slowly in a northwesterly direction. It's not just moving, however. Even more remarkably, the phenomenon seems to be in the process of splitting in two with researchers in 2020 discovering that the SAA appeared to be dividing into two distinct cells, each representing a separate center of minimum magnetic intensity within the greater anomaly. Just what that means for the future of the SAA remains unknown, but in any case, there's evidence to suggest that the anomaly is not a new appearance. A study published in July 2020 suggested the phenomenon is not a freak event of recent times, but a recurrent magnetic event that may have affected Earth since as far back as 11 million years ago. If so, that could signal that the South Atlantic anomaly is not a trigger or precursor to the entire planet's magnetic field flipping, which is something that actually happens. If not for hundreds of thousands of years at a time, Obviously, huge questions remain, but with so much going on with this vast magnetic oddity, it's all it's good to know the world's most powerful space agency is watching it as closely as they are. Even though the SAA is slow moving, it is going through some change in morphology. So it's also important that we keep observing it by having continued missions, says Sabaka, because that's what help us make models and predictions. Now. There, I know you're like, why are you reading this and doing this? Because you guys need to know what's going on in the world, outside of your community, outside of politics and sports and entertainment. You know, the world is messing up. It's messing up. You got the axis, you got the axis being turned or being taken off of its normal spin. And when that happens, that's from the melting of the ice caps for years. And that anomaly that's growing where it's at, that's coming from the fossil fuels, the carbon dioxide. We're having too much carbon dioxide put into the, um, into the air. That's why our ozone layer is continues, continuously being destroyed. And it's been destroyed for years, like for like 15, 20 years, I believe. And they try to tell you this stuff to, oh, recycle. Oh, recycle, separate the trash. Where are you putting the trash at? See, what the trash does when you burn it, like they've been burning it, it puts CO2 in the air. And that carbon dioxide is destroying a lot of the oxygen cells that we need to breathe that the world and the plants need. A lot of the trees have been taken and torn down. <clears throat> They've been destroyed because of greed and because companies need to make money and money has been the problem. Money has been evil. Since we've been on this monetary system, the world has been nothing but losing life. Where it's going to come a time when the world reboots itself and everything just gets taken out. We'll have another ice age or whatever you call it. People are saying, oh, it's going to be 30 or 50 years from now. How do you know? How do you know it might not happen tomorrow? You don't know. Because you have big time corporations still trying to have that way of thinking. We're going to attack a certain group of color. The darker the skin tone in certain areas, we're going to cause division. In the major sports that we have, football in America and soccer worldwide, we're still going to be racist. We're going to show more favoritism to those of lighter tone. And what it's doing is it's brainwashed everybody. Because everybody's brainwashing, they're not looking at the big picture. The big picture is we've killed the world. And right now we're on borrowed time. We're on borrowed time. You know, people will tell you, no, we got all this time in the world. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just saying, be careful tomorrow 
if something happens, don't say I ain't try to warn you. So thank you for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. If you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by going to my description box. You hit that link to my cash app. You could donate, excuse me, you could donate whatever your heart's desire. So thank you guys, man, for your love. This is the DZ Report. We're signing off. Peace.